But we begin tonight, as we always must, with the numbers. As of today, the United States has 53,441 reported cases of coronavirus and 690 reported deaths from coronavirus. But there is good news tonight. The president of the United States is not in charge. Now, that would be bad news in a pandemic if the president were anyone other than Donald Trump. So the good news is that the worst, most corrupt president in history is not in charge of what he referred to today as opening up the country. Donald Trump did not close down the country, and so Donald Trump cannot open up the country. If you're at home in America today and you didn't go to work, it's because your employer told you to stay home or your governor ordered you to stay home because your governors are in charge of what you can and cannot do in your states now, not the president of the United States, who has not closed a single business in the United States. Donald Trump has not closed anything in the United States, and so Donald Trump cannot reopen anything in the United States. So everything Donald Trump said today about opening up the country is utter nonsense, but it is deadly nonsense. So I think Easter Sunday and you'll have packed churches all over our country. If that happened on Easter Sunday, just 19 days from now, then in May, you would have millions of dead people all over the country. Millions. If you had packed churches all over the country, including California, on Easter Sunday, by May, there could be a million dead people in California. Packed churches on Easter Sunday in the state of New York. Packed churches in Massachusetts, where the Republican governor today ordered the closure of all non-essential businesses in Massachusetts. And when you're at home tomorrow in Massachusetts, it's because your governor, Charlie Baker, told you to stay home, not Donald Trump. And Donald Trump has absolutely no control over when you go back to work in Massachusetts or in Louisiana, a state that Donald Trump won by 20 points. You didn't go to work today in Louisiana because your governor won't let you. And in Louisiana today, your governor told the president of the United States that Louisiana may run out of hospital capacity by early April. Easter is April 12th. None of the governors who have shut down their states have paid any attention to what Donald Trump thinks about shutting down businesses. None of the fevered daydreams that Donald Trump shared with the country today are going to happen. None of them. Churches are not going to be packed all over the country on Easter. The Pope has canceled public Easter Sunday services at the Vatican, and he did it two weeks ago. And Donald Trump wants you in a packed church in America on Easter Sunday. The Pope doesn't want you to die by going to church. But Donald Trump? Well, Donald Trump thinks you're going to die anyway. Donald Trump actually said today that if you do not go back to work by Easter, you will kill yourselves. That's what he said. That's the way Donald Trump actually sees this situation. That's the way Donald Trump sees you. Donald Trump does not believe that life is worth living if you lose money. If you have less money this year, than last year. If you have a lot less money this year than last year, then the obvious choice is to kill yourself because life is not worth living in Donald Trump's value system. You're going to lose more people by putting a country into a massive recession or depression. You're going to lose people. You're going to have suicides by the thousands. Just let that sink in suicides by the thousands. You have a president of the United States who believes that if the whole country goes back to work in three weeks, the number of people who will die from coronavirus is less than the number of people who would kill themselves if they don't go back to work. He believes that is your value system. He believes that is the state of mental health in America. He believes we are on the verge of mass suicides. And so in order to save you from your looming suicide, he wants you to go back to work and maybe, maybe get killed by the coronavirus. But he's absolutely certain that the coronavirus body count will be lower 
than what he sees as the inevitable suicide body count. In the years of vile madness spewing from the mouth of Donald Trump, we have never heard a sicker, more perverse formulation than what that man said today. He said it's time for America to choose between death from coronavirus or mass suicide. Donald Trump thinks he's a wartime president, but he doesn't think the war should last for more than another month. Because if it does, Americans will kill themselves. Ask Donald Trump how long World War II lasted, and I guarantee you he has no idea. But he does seem to think that staying home, watching Netflix, is more difficult than winning World War II. Nothing Donald Trump said today has any legal power whatsoever, none. But surely there will be some fanatical Trump followers taking more risks because of what Donald Trump said today, including the deadly risk of gathering on Easter Sunday without enough social distancing. And so it is very likely that more people will get sick because of Donald Trump's Easter vision, and more people will die in America because of Donald Trump's Easter vision. And they won't all be Trump followers because we are all in this infection pool together. And if Donald Trump encourages people to take risks that get them infected, we are not immune from the infected Trump followers. And so Donald Trump's encouragement of recklessness today is just more encouragement for the sane people of America, the majority to stay in their homes and not interact with anyone outside of their homes. In other words, it is more encouragement for New York and California and all the other locked down states to remain locked down. California and New York produce almost 25 percent of the gross national product of the United States of America. 25 percent of our economy tonight is under the control of the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, and the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo. And today, New York saw a spike in its reported coronavirus cases. New York's rate of infection is now doubling every three days. Today, Governor Cuomo made it very clear there will be no packed churches in the state of New York on Easter Sunday. And he had a very important warning for America. New York is the canary in the coal mine. New York is going first. We have the highest and the fastest rate of infection. What happens to New York is going to wind up happening to California and Washington State and Illinois. It's just a matter of time. We are just a test case. We are just a test case. And that's how the nation should look at it. Look at us today. Where we are today, you will be in three weeks or four weeks or five weeks or six weeks. We are your future.